I've got your next comfort meal, baked firecracker chicken and delicious cabbage steaks. This is going to be good. Let me show you how I make it. I'm working with bone-in chicken drumsticks and chicken thighs with skin on bone-in. It's about four pounds and I'm going to start with about two to three tablespoons of honey mustard. You could use regular yellow mustard, but I wanted to go for honey mustard. Now some garlic and herb seasoning blend. It's like salt, lemon pepper, garlic, dried parsley, and pepper. It's so good. Here I'm adding some smoked paprika. Again, I'm eyeballing everything. Season the chicken how you like. I always like to say that. Use what you have. Salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. That is a very simple way to season the chicken with the honey mustard. Now I'm just going to add some more smoked paprika, some more of that garlic herb blend. I'm also going to add some granulated chipotle pepper powder. It's so good. It adds a little bit of a kick and some smoky seasoning into the mix. Just keep combining it. Now I'm going to add some onion powder. And I want to just reiterate, season things how you like. The flavor profile of baked chicken is really up to you. Salt and pepper works. It's very simple. Okay, so this is combined. I'm going to place it on a baking sheet and sort of arrange it in a way. It's going to be like a tight squeeze on this baking sheet because I'm going to simultaneously bake my cabbage steaks along with this. So I'm using a smaller baking dish. But okay, so once you arrange the chicken on your baking sheet, what I'm doing is going to just go over the seasonings again, the onion powder, that smoked paprika. I'm also going to add more of that garlic, salt, pepper, lemon pepper blend. And here I have two small onions that I cut into just large chunks. I'm going to wedge those in between all the chicken. You'll want to preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And this chicken, it's not very cold, so it's going to take like 45 to 50 minutes to bake. But if you're working with colder chicken, it could take longer. Cook until done in the center. Okay, so for my cabbage steaks, I am going to spread this compound butter. And I am using duenjang and kochukaru. It's a Korean style compound butter that I love to use for a lot of things. So it starts with one stick of unsalted butter. And I'm just going to place that right into the bowl. It's softened, by the way. Now I'm going to add one and a half tablespoons of duenjang. This is a Korean soybean paste. Some people, if you have miso, that works, but this is Korean style. Here I'm adding a tablespoon of kochukaru, and that is a Korean red pepper powder. It's like crushed powder form chili. It's so good. You can use it in kimchi and a lot of sauces and seasonings. Okay, here I'm adding dehydrated minced onion. You can use like the whites of scallions. This is what I'm testing out today. And I'm also going to grate one large garlic clove into the butter. And just with these ingredients, makes a flavorful compound butter that I like to add into steamed rice, onto steak, and today I'm going to smear it on my cabbage steaks. It's so good. Just give that a really good mix, combine, and kind of whip it together. And you can put this in the fridge, you can separate it and freeze it for later use. But today, I'm going to use it right away for the cabbage. For the cabbage steaks, I am just going to slice rounds of cabbage. And you want to leave the core on, just slice right through it. You'll need a good sharp knife, a cutting board, and these are probably maybe one inch thick and then just add on that compound butter on both sides. So I have them on my baking sheet and I'm going to bake these alongside the chicken, but these are only gonna take maybe 20, 25 minutes or until you reach the desired doneness and tenderness of the cabbage. And I want to show you that you can do this in a skillet. Take a slice, Add the compound butter. By the way, you can add whatever butter or seasoning or toppings you want to your cabbage steak. This is just what I'm doing today. And then I'm going to do one side. And what you're going to do is just place it right into the pan. And I have this kind of on a low heat setting. Now I'm going to take the rest of that compound butter and just smear it on this side, the side that's facing up. And then you just cook this. You kind of get a little bit of charring and saute both sides 
And like I said earlier, you're going to cook to your desired doneness. Some people like cabbage to still have that crisp, crunchy texture. Some really like it to be cooked down. Okay, so once you're done spreading this, you're just going to cook on both sides. I like to add just maybe a tablespoon of water into the pan and then quickly cover with a lid or this and let it cook until it's done. Look at this. And you can plate this right up and serve. It's so good. Here are the baked ones. By the way, my kitchen smells amazing. I know this is only chicken and cabbage, but it's such a great combo. So for the firecracker sauce, I'm starting with scallion whites and a half cup of this buffalo sauce and some honey. Things are to taste around here, but I'll give you a good starting point. I'm also going to be adding crushed red pepper flakes, which is why I use a mild buffalo sauce. It lets you control the spice level to your dish. So a half cup of this going in, maybe a little more. Now for the honey, two to three tablespoons works or less if you don't want that sweetness or too much sweetness. Here I had like a teaspoon left of crushed red pepper flakes. So it's going in and you give it a mix. You can also substitute the honey with just regular sugar or brown sugar. That also works and you sweeten to preference. Now I'm gonna glaze the chicken. And once you combine the sauce in the pan, let it simmer for a minute and it's ready. I'm gonna continue to bake the chicken for another 10 to 15 minutes and now it's time to serve everything once that's ready. If you're looking for some type of carb with this dish, steamed rice or fried rice also goes great. My husband's probably going to eat a side of white steamed rice from the rice cooker. The chicken is done and like I said, it smells amazing. This firecracker chicken, there's so many ways to make it, but today I decided to go with a bake. And I'm glad I did because the weather is cooler and I like to bake things. And if you have a little more of that sauce, you can glaze it right before serving. It's so flavorful. And if you want it spicier, you can add a little bit of sliced jalapeno and more crushed red pepper flakes. But look, this chicken is cooked perfectly and I can't wait to dig in. So let me know in the comment section some of your favorite comfort food combos. I might like them as well, and who knows, I might recreate them. Dinner is served and it's time to dig in, and I want to show you how tender the chicken comes out, and just this combination of flavors is so, so good. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it and thanks for watching.